Etched in black, stark against the morning sky, it stands tall and proud, but lonely, a little lighthouse on a sea of prairie grass. The struggle to obtain an adequate water supply in the prairies is a story of epic proportions. Ultimately, it is the struggle for survival, the struggle for life. Humboldt's historic water tower is a part of that story. Constructed in 1914, Humboldt's water tower consists of an inner steel tank about 20 feet in diameter and 80 feet high. The unique timber housing is about 25 feet in diameter and 95 feet high, with a conical shaped cedar shingle roof. The design of the tower is striking for its resemblance to a coastal lighthouse and is distinguished by a wooden shell pierced by four slender windows spiraling to the top, suggestive of an interior spiral staircase. Abandoned over 25 years ago, the tower has suffered from summer sun and winter wind, from rain and hail and snow, and from years of neglect. Now, this historic landmark will get another lease on life. In 1997, a small group of dedicated citizens set out to raise funds to preserve, restore, and adaptively reuse the tower. It was reported in the Humble Journal that City Council was planning on getting rid of its historic water tower by burning it down. Well, this caught the attention of uh, a number of residents, uh, especially Norman Dewar, who uh, thought that something needed to be done. So he got some key figures together from the community, organized a public meeting, and invited a speaker from the uh, Saskatchewan Architectural Heritage Society. Well, from this meeting, um, a committee was formed known today as the Humboldt Water Tower Committee. Probably the biggest challenge was to clean the pigeon droppings out of the tower. After 20 years of neglect, uh, a lot of stuff had accumulated and no contractor was going to touch this unless it was cleaned up. And an ongoing challenge of the committee is the uh, raising of funds to carry out the uh, restoration process. With fundraising efforts well underway, work began in the fall of 2003 to repair the tower's foundation and the roof of the treatment plant. A doorway was cut out of the steel tank to provide access to the interior. The winter of 2003 saw significant repairs to the top of the tower. The cedar shingle roof was reshingled and the exterior catwalk rebuilt. In the fall and winter of 2004, repairs began on the tower's siding. As much original siding as possible was preserved. Immediate plans uh, call for a completion of the restoration outside and the, com and the construction of a stairway inside to access the catwalk for a view of the city and the surrounding area. Down the roadways, uh, we plan to put in um, um, an interpretation center in the annex of the tower to chronicle the story of Humboldt acquiring an adequate water supply. Visitors to Humboldt comment on the tower's architectural interest. It has been the subject of a number of paintings and photographs attesting to its uniqueness and aesthetic value. A restored tower also has economic value as a city landmark, historic site and tourist attraction. Historic buildings have become an endangered species on the prairies. It is important that we preserve pieces of our history so future generations can learn about and appreciate our past. Humboldt's water tower tells the story of the strength and perseverance of the area's early settlers who struggled to survive 
and to prosper on the unforgiving prairie landscape.